doing? Sleeping on the ship. Plastic with you? Only temporary. Usual? Hey, Hank. How you doing, man? Hey, same. Guys, welcome back to another playthrough. Um, we last left off, we made it to Jericho, which was an abandoned ship. And we actually saw Ryan Gosling on the ship, which is kind of weird, but cool at the same time. But um, we're proceeding and let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Review facts. Let's reconcile. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Damn, we've got a tough crowd. Here we go. See how many cholesterols is in there. God damn, 1,680 calories. What, what they got in that burger? Let's see the drink. 710 calories, wow. XL soda. Yeah, it's a bit crazy still. Oh, well, he's gonna enjoy it. Uh -oh. Gary, I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. So we're like his little puppy. We're just gonna follow him. <laughs> Cholesterol. <laughs> just let him enjoy his meal, man. But let's see gambling, maybe. This Pedro. He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Uh, free mill? You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. About Connor Deviants. Uh, which one should I choose? Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> um, Hank and androids about Connor. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Not really um, constructive there, but. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. You ever dealt with deviants before? Few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me?
Let's be truthful, because he knows he can call our bullshit, so we're going to be truthful. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Cold. Let's go cold, man. Fuck him. What's sincere? Uh, sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. Oh, well, I guess that was the right option then that I chose. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. It looks like Hank is warming up to us, hopefully. It will make our, our missions a lot easier anyway. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. So we have to question the What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just... It's that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Right. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every... Time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. All right, there's nothing else to investigate. Let's proceed. Hey, were you door. really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay oh, behind me. They're on the run. They are on the run. <laughs> Okay, so we have to find the perpetrator. Let's see if there's any clues in here though. Oh, we've got something here. Let's go back in. Oh no, it's a fucking magazine. We do not need that. I thought maybe some fingerprints or something, you know? What the fuck is this? Wow, pigeons everywhere. This place has been Abandoned. Ugh, Jesus, this place stinks. Filthy. Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. He's got a cold beer in there. That would be nice. Surely there's some um, evidence lying around. We just have to have a look. Well, yeah, he definitely likes his pigeons. That's for sure. So some sort of cryptic fresh air. message. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Hmm, let's get our um, Sherlock Holmes on anyway. See what we can find. So, wooden store recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. What 
What's this? Open marker pen, still wear, used recently. Color, midnight mood black. So he was just in here before we interrupted him? Ah, so he dropped. Let's put it around to the living room. Where's the pen at? Can we see the pen? Oh, we saw the pen already, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it an android or is it an actual um, human being? Because if it is, that motherfucker is dirty as fuck. Either way. I think it's an android, right? Yeah, he removed his chip. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Nah, you'd be surprised, mate. You'll be surprised. Fire case of loud noise. All right, so we know he's a deviant. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things. Right, we've got another clue over here. So your boy is into, this deviant is into farming, apparently. something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Right. But if you if you really do, but it was only a matter of time before um, these androids, these robots, like lashed out, you know, against the humans. It's inevitable, you know, for it to happen. And we got the last clue, should be here. Mr. Hawk recently broken, stainless steel. Let's reconstruct. So he knocked it over as he was running out, okay. He fell into the chair. Oh, is he, in, is he inside the cupboard? No, he's not. He can't be, right? He could be, but... Oh, he's, he ran up top. Okay. So we know he's up top now. We have to expose him. But let's just search every other clue, because it could help with uh, with a dialogue later. This nut job was actually feeding these. But. RT, probably initials. You put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in. Boy, he's the got driver's the license is fake. Good cool. fake ID. We didn't come for nothing. Um, okay, I think we are done with everything. Ah! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Oh, okay, we got quick buttons. I think I got this, I got this, I got this. 
I'm so horrible with the button. With the button bashing. Fast but risky, easy but slow. Fast but risky, safe for detail. Let's go fast but risky. Oh, we doing fast but risky every time now. Okay. Direct but crowded. Safe for detail. Let's go direct but crowded. Look out! Oh shit, I'm going to go to the side. No, we got it. Okay. I almost didn't see the axe there. Let's go, let's catch him. Direct but slow, fast but risky. We have to catch him, fast but risky, let's go. He has no chance, mate. So far, so good. So far, so good. Don't jinx it. Direct but crowded. Safe but slow. You know we're going with a difficult option. Look out. All right, I need to see these next buttons that I'm getting. Don't tell me the old guy caught him. How the hell did he get him? Oh shit. Chase Deviant, safe Hank. 89. That's a high percentage, man. He can survive. If it was below 70, I would have went. But 89%, he's good. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to CyberLife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. Oh, no. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up! He's got a point, man. The Deviant has got a Come point. On. Why did Hank bitch slap me, though? That's crazy. Hey, what the oh, he's going to commit suicide? Holy shit. Fucking androids. Damn, so now I've just made him hate androids even more. He definitely hates me. I could have saved them, but 89% survival rate, that's, um, that's pretty high. Anyway, fuck Hank, man. He's been an arsehole to us anyway, so. Fuck him. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North.
This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Yo, she scared the fuck out of me before. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now, I need to decide who I really am. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Well, at least they're friendly. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. I thought the androids was gonna be on smoke when I got here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Started just to keep them warm. Let's go and um, see what's going on over here. Not in very good shape, am I? The diagnostic program isn't working. Uh. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? Tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. H humans can be so cruel, man. Honestly. We are our own destruction. I always say this. For this game to be, uh, to have been released in 2015, it's still holding up really, really well. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, she gone? Just like that. I'm um, so wait, when they die, they turn into statues. We're gonna inquire everything, can they, you know, before we before we meet um it's her name Emily. Fun fact, 2015, I was in France. Playing professional basketball. I still need to brush up on my French. It's um, it's a bit rough. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. 
We're slowly dying out. Start a fire, warm up the place. You know they look pretty cold. Do they get cold though? That's the thing. I don't know. Do do androids get cold? Possibly. But then again, we go and try and make it as cozy as possible. You know. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks. It's Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. your function before coming here what do you care oh she ain't fucking with me who found this place nobody knows anymore whoever he was his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat All right, let's um, ask all the questions and see what we can get. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Tough cookie. That's all of it, right? Let's have a look. One more take. I think that's everything. We have asked all the questions we can ask. So let's go and speak to Lucy. Back of her head is Are you missing. Lucy? Sit down. Show me. Stop the bleeding. They feel nothing. Drink this. Is there an option not to drink it? I don't think so, but I guess we do have to drink it. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. 
your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. So is he like the chosen one, maybe? What does it say? Settle in, propose a plan to Simon. Simon is the guy with the little kid, right? Over here, I think. He was the most talkative, so I'm assuming it's him. No. Uh, oh. Simon's the middle guy. Okay. Ryan Gosling. I think that's Ryan Gosling, Simon. right? Or am I going crazy? I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. I knew she was. She was a rebel. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Oh shit, Alice. She's neutral. We gotta try and get her in um in our good books, you know. But she's okay. she's been through hell, man. Poor girl. We'll get some help here. Soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. This is the place. That house looks haunted. As a little kid, man, how much faith would you put into an android, you know? But that's all she has. She has nobody else. Hello, anybody home? Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Be shy. I don't trust this guy. For some reason, I don't. Let's scan it out, though. He looks a bit suspect, man. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? <laughs> oh, oh damn! I'm afraid of a big friend here. He's about my size. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Looking like Ganga's Khan. Please, make yourselves at home. Why did I choose white hair? I don't, I don't know why. I was trying to go for like the whole mother of dragon looks, you know? How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. Yo, look at that paint and behind him. I see. Look at that forehead, oh my God. Deviant, huh? 
What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Nah. I don't uh, know about the that. The little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Something's up. Everything we need is in the basement. Wait, dude's a bit too close, y'all. Wait, there's a there's a prompt here. Cause dude, dude's moving a bit suspect. What's what's over here? Is it like a secret door or something? This is fine. Okay. No, there's nothing. It's not giving me no options. I just want to double check because I feel like these motherfuckers are gonna set me up. Ah, am I walking to my death? What she said. I like this place and that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Careful. Not sure he's reassured. Careful. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Oh my gosh. What am I doing, yo? I'm walking this little girl to a slaughter. Please excuse the mess. This motherfucker's a serial killer. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be alright. That's good. What's she looking at? Yo, big dude's a bit too close. Okay, this way, please. Oh my god, what am I doing? Yo, back up, big boy. You're a bit too close. What's she doing, yo? Is she coming in? Let's go, Alice. No? Okay, can I walk past him? No, I can't, I guess. Fuck it up. Is there anything I can use? No? Okay. If you could just stand over there. All right, Alice. I'm sorry if anything bad happens. I should warn you. This could be quite unpleasant. We'll keep our eyes on that. You know what's strange? I fucked up. I fucked up. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Oh. Yeah, but people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. I and I it. just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. 
No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. Come on, call me, man. Deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's a scumbag. Oh, I fucked up, man. I fucked up. Can we get out? How did we get out? Fucking hell. It's resetting me, man. It's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. Oh my gosh, no man. Pain. I told Alice, I'm gonna have to reset this mission, you know. I almost envy you. Kara! I'm gonna have to restart <laughs> oh, this mission. Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did I kill the dad? I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara! Wake up, Kara! Oh my god, I fucked up! I fucked up! Meet me in the living room. Hey, big bro! Why are you doing me like this? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Us Andrews have got to stick together. I did Alice dirty, man. Found a way to escape. Okay, let's go. Let's go, we on it, we on it. What can we use? Um, cause a circuit, cause a short circuit. How do we do that? Okay, can we move? Oh my gosh, before, I, before it fucking resets. How can I do that? Yo, I got like, believe me, if, if this fucks up, I'm got 70%, fuck me, bro. Oh, they're taking a piss. What can I do with this? I'm about to reset, yo. 97% is a wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. That is some bullshit, man. But I still know what's going on, though, isn't it? Wait, so what would I, what should I have done, though? I don't know. Ah, <sighs> but you know what? To be a good sport, we're just going to play the game, innit? I really want to reset it and start again, but... Let's play it just to get the full experience. Come on.
Damn, wake the fuck up, Ellis. Yes. Otherwise, the little one will die. No way. Wait, I just wanted to. Okay, we can't go back in there. I'm just trying to remember. Well, obviously, I fucking know, but I just want her. I want Alice to remember, so. Alice needs to remember. I mean, Kara, sorry. Kara needs to remember, man. Otherwise, Alice is toast. I would feel so shit if anything was to happen. All right, remember who you are, Kara. Okay, I saw this earlier. I didn't know what to do here though. There was nothing for me to do here. Can we explore the other living room? You know what, fuck, fuck Arthur. Let's go, we're going up here. Oh, okay. Can we walk through here? We can't, okay. Master's dinner is ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. Oh, my God. I should have left, man. Why did I go down the stick? Like, why? Just set it down on the table over there. Done. Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It took off the word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accounting! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lacko. He's just as bad as the dad, man, honestly. Luther! Oh. Luther! Yes, Lacko. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the room and see what I can do with it. Understood, Slacko. I'll bring you the little one in 10 minutes. Oh fuck, time remaining, 10 minutes, my God. My God, what we gotta do? Fuck me, who's the little girl? Remember, remember, remember. We got 10 minutes, 10 minutes is gonna go quickly though. How much time we got left? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got some boxes here. We've got something down there, nine minutes, 30, uh, 39 seconds. Fuck me, this game's got me stressing. Come on, remember. Remember. Oh, we've got another dialogue here. The fact that you have to walk is so annoying. Can we please sprint or something? Open cage, should I open it? Let's open it. I don't know what it does, but. All right, that could come in handy later on, but we have to remember Alice. 
How much time we've got left? What are you doing here? We've got eight minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, let's interact with this dude. Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. All right, you he's not really... here. You have no business here. Ah, oh, fuck. Didn't want to go that way. Is that way back? That way? Can we go back in here? Alright, I don't know what I'm doing, but... We have to re... Okay, there was another door, right? I could have went through. No, that's the same door I went through. Yes, okay, it's the same door I went through. Okay. I just wasted fucking time. How long have we got left? 7 minutes 49. Come on. What is through here? Come on. We don't want to read no bloody magazine. Where is Alice though? Where, where is Alice? Okay, we have some options here. Hopefully this helps. Alice, there we go. We've got a book. Come on, Kara. My name is Kara. Yes, it is. Yes, your name is Kara. What's this? Check what? Find Alice. Escape. What is this? Turn on. Come on, we gotta find Alice! This game is fucking stressed to be out. What's in there? We found Alice! Let's go, let's go. Car, you remember me? How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were right, we never should have come here. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Can we go in here? Hide. Hide, 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 hide. Not go! What? The little one is gone! Well, I can't have just disappeared. You gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look! We can stay in here, right? We should be all right. Is he in here? He's in here, right? Uh oh, there's a size 15. When can we come out? Alright, we're good. We're searching the house. We've got to get out before they find us. Take the log. We're going to need that log. Set fire. Put back. Set fire. 
Oh, let's go, flee. It's a corridor to bedroom, to bedroom. There's smoke everywhere. Luther! Can we go out the window? There's a fucking fire! Luther! It's a corridor. Uh, let's go. Oh, my God! Fuck, I thought he busted us. Let's go, run, 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 run. Oh, has he got a gun? Which side are we going? Back door, front door, back door, back door, back door. Holy shit, my palms are sweaty, mate. Come on, Luther, leave us, man. Let us be, mate. Let us be. Alice! Let's go, Alice. Not now, Alice. Please. No, Alice. No, I won't leave. Go. Run as fast as you can. Oh, shit. Harriet's got... I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Yes, Luther. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. Oh, he's getting it. If we have the option to kill him, he's getting killed. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! Yes, beat the shit out of him, man. You just need the bear now to come. Yes, Lufa, we appreciate you. And the haircut is looking, it's looking good as well. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. Mm. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. I don't know. All right. I trust you. God damn, that could have ended. I feel so scared of losing you. I feel like that could have ended so differently, you know. Yo, if Alice got smoked in that one, I would have been absolutely fucking pissed. And I'm sure like Alice could have died or some shit. That would have been crazy. That would have been absolute crazy. Absolutely crazy. I can't even fucking speak. We've got the umbrella. We're gonna meet. The woman again, I can't remember her name. My God, let's calm down, let's calm down, because that was mad. Oh, she's over there now, fuck sakes. Can we go through this way? Why do we have to walk through everywhere? Can we run? No, we can't, okay. I mean, the game does look gorgeous, I can't lie, but the sprint button wouldn't hurt, you know? Hello, Amanda. Hi, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? A little walk? That's all we've been doing, mate. It's just bloody walking.
Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Diary signs on walls, birds. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. Excuse, hesitated, last words, explain. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? No, it's not going good. He is openly hostile towards me and continues to show no interest in the investigation. Cooperating with him is a real challenge. You're just gonna keep it 100, right? Because he's a fucking pain in the ass. We don't have much time. But I'm sure I am as well. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. So Hank is a bit tense, so we have to be on our best behavior. Not arse looking, because arse looking doesn't get us anywhere, so. Lieutenant Anderson! Maybe not annoy him and ask him so many home? bloody questions. Alright, fuck it, he's not answering. He's gonna find a way inside. He's definitely not gonna answer if he hears his ass. Wait, there's an option there, I missed it. I still can't believe we escaped with Alice, man. That was... Yeah, that was, that was stressful. With the dogs there. Okay, let's go around the back. Can we run, please? That will be amazing. Laptop is on. Dog's awake now. Oh, shit. I want too many birds. Lieutenant Anderson! I'm your friend. Sumo's See, like, how'd you know my name? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. He's probably just drunk as fuck and just passed out. We all love a good scotch. Scotch whiskey, alcohol content, yes. Is that baby throw up? No signs of trauma, okay. Oh my God, did he try to off himself? Wow, one bullet remaining. Lieutenant. Grrrr. <laughs> 
Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. <laughs> you give him a good smack. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Lee, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> He's so fucking hey. wasted. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. It's like Subo attack. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Turn it off! Turn it off! Is it hot or is it cold? It's probably cold. But that'll definitely wake him up. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Rational aggressive solution, pragmatic. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant. You're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. I was gonna tease them, but this homicide. Our relationship wasn't the best to, to begin with, so. A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Oh, nice, okay. So Hank is warming up to us again, a little bit. What do you want to wear? Maybe. Whatever. Stripey, <laughs> streaky, hippie. Let's go with hippie, just to cheer him up a bit. Give him the hippie swag. I mean, it is in his closet, right? So he can't really be mad if we bring it out. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Resident Warren is so we're going to do a little bit of snooping now. Okay, well, that's just a normal magazine. But this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many ex experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. What's some blues? It's got good taste, the music, though. We all love a good jazz. Oh, who's playing? What game is that? Is that like college basketball or something? <laughs> oh, 
All right, do a little bit more. Yep, we know he loves jazz. A little bit more snooping, and then we'll go back and collect him. What a dirty motherfucker, though. It's the bachelor life. He loves his fast food. Now he's got a little boy. Ah. Oh. Okay. He lost his son. I don't, I don't think we want to push him too much, you know. So, we're going to take it easy anyway. We're going to be subtle because he's been a bit annoying with Hank. Cyberlife Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. 